Hi everyone, it's John, your Gen X Grandpa, and today I'm reviewing the Frank Anthony Davis Pickleball Paddle from New Peepo. I want to start out with a disclaimer letting you know that uh, this paddle is going to be discontinued uh, probably pretty close to about the time that you watch this video. So keep that in mind if you uh, plan to want to purchase this. Also, I want to thank New Peepo for sending me this paddle to review. So Frank Anthony Davis, when he was sponsored by New Peepo, worked with them to design this paddle. And um, I think that they did a pretty good job. We'll just come out straight out and say that. I, th I think they did a great job designing this paddle. I enjoyed playing with this paddle. Let's run some uh, video here of me unboxing it. And then we'll get a little bit more into my review. Okay, so here is the Frank Anthony Davis New Peepo Pioneer Pickleball Paddle that we are going to unbox. I want to thank the folks over at New Peepo for sending this along so that I could review it. There we go. Look at that. Wow. Comes with a paddle cover. Let's see if they've got any documentation in it. No. Uh, let's see, anything under the foam? Nothing under the foam. So this has kind of got two different sides on it. It's got this black side and a white side. It's got the FAD logo there, find the positive, and then the big new Peepo symbol there. Let's take the plastic off here. It's a good size handle uh, as far as the circumference. It's a little short. I like two, a two-handed backhand, so we're going to have to see how that works for me. But, I mean, this sounds, I mean, this is a good-looking paddle. I really like it, and I'm thankful for the opportunity to review it. I'm planning to play tomorrow, so should be able to have a lot of fun with this paddle. The new Peepo Fad Professional has a thick core and a graphite face that's designed to absorb more energy. It's lightweight and offers a nice blend of power and control. It has a large face and a comfortable grip. The face material is a graphite carbon face. The core is a polymer honeycomb core. It comes in at 15.94 inches long, 7.91 inches wide and it's about 14 millimeters thick. The handle length comes in at 4.96 inches with a diameter of 1.3 inches. The grip circumference comes in at 4.45 inches. It weighs about 8.1 to 8.45 ounces. And Pipo says the grip is waterproof and they call the surface a frosted surface rather than a textured surface. So this paddle weighs anywhere between 8.1 and 8.4 ounces. So it's a little bit on the heavier side for most people. I found that most of that weight feels like it's up in the top of the paddle, which is going to give you a lot more pop follow through on your swing and uh, get you a, uh, a lot more pop off the paddle. I did feel the balls popped off this paddle quite well. This, this is a good combination of providing power as well as some control. It's not 100% control, I would say. You can get some fine shots in it. It's not so poppy that you can't get into a good dinking rally. But I think for the most part, if, if you want to classify this, I would classify this more on the power end um, with a little bit of control. I was able to generate a good amount of spin with this ball. I, I don't have any spin numbers, specifications, RPMs, or anything like that, but I did find that I could generate some good spin with this, 
and uh, I, I was also able to uh, counteract spin as well. A lot of people are, are looking at a paddle that's going to help them generate spin, but you also need to think about the fact of, that you're going to also need to use that in the same way to counteract spin that people are, are putting on you as well on the ball. So, so I did have a good experience with that. My paddle, my go-to paddle when I go to play is a Gearbox CX-14H. Uh, I found the ability to spin with this uh, about the same. And I would say as far as control, my Gearbox, I had a little more control with my Gearbox than I did with this. Keep in mind that I'm an amateur player. I'm a 3.5 on a good day. So that's the point of view where this review is coming from. Um, I would say if you are looking for a paddle uh, to move up from a, a, maybe a basic paddle that you bought or even one of New Pipo's intermediate paddles and you don't want to break the bank, you don't want to spend $200 on a paddle, go for this paddle. Now, like I said, it's going to be discontinued, but I will have a option for you in an upcoming review that I think will, will be a fine replacement for this in the same price range. So I'm looking forward to seeing what New People comes out with next as far as a professional paddle. This paddle is USA Pickleball approved. It's on their list. I played some really good games with this, um, made some good shots, and uh, I, I was pretty pleased with the play of this paddle. If you've been looking at some of the newer paddles that are coming out these days, I would say that this paddle falls into the 1.0 technology when it comes to polymer and graphite paddles. Any of the newer ones that have come out in the last year or so are probably going to be um, more advanced and have um, you know better grit on them and things like that. I was really happy with the texture and the grit on this. It doesn't feel like it's sprayed on. It feels like it's actually part of the material and so that's good um, how much this is going to wear off and how fast it'll wear off i don't know um, i played five or six games with it and i obviously didn't experience any kind of degradation or even see any degradation on the paddle so good option again look for uh, an upcoming review that's going to have an alternative for you uh, for this paddle i'm john your gen x grandpa this has been the Frank Anthony Davis New Pipo Pickleball Paddle, and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.